Howdy, I'm Bob Terry, and thanks for joining us here on Westerns on the Web for another great adventure with our friends, our amigos, the Cisco Kid and Poncho. And it's brought to you free here on the internet by www.toyguntown.com, and you can see tons of Western adventures at www.westernsontheweb.com. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you after the show. Here's adventure. Here's romance. Here's O. Henry's famous Robin Hood of the Old West, the Cisco Kid. Blame your whiskers. They're so tough, instead of a razor, he should have used a wire cutter. That's what he used, I think. <laughs> Let's go! Help! Come! The bank's been robbed! <laughs> in their own direction. One. Tracy has been a thorn in the side of bankers throughout the Southwest. We're mighty grateful to you and Poncho for having captured him. If there's anything I can ever do for you, please let me know. Thank you, Mr. Parker. Pancho, don't be so sad about the other two getting away. It can happen to anyone. Yeah, but not to Pancho. They slip through my fingers like a little greasy pig. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't forget, the welcome mat will always be out for you boys any time you come back to town. It's just cool. I can't believe myself. A, a sheriff who like us. <laughs> <laughs> well, goodbye, gentlemen. Uh, goodbye. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. You're forgetting something. Here's the reward the Bankers Association offered for Tracy's capture. A reward for us? Well, I'll be a gee whiz. Thank you, Mr. Parker. But will you please be kind enough to send this to Mission San Jose in care of Father Crespi? Right, Pancho? That's right, Chief. That... Hey, what am I saying? Wonderful. We'll be seeing you, gentlemen. Right. Yours. Pancho, why do you look so unhappy? What's the matter? Nothing. Only sometimes I think you are too free with our money. Oh, Pancho. But the little orphans at the mission need it more than we do. Maybe, but Pancho needs a pair of pantalones once in a while, too.
Are you all right, miss? Sure, I'm fine. Get your hands up. You too. She thinks we are the man who was chasing her. Senorita, you all mixed up with the other two men who... Get their guns. But, senorita, these are the men that was chasing you. I guess I'm all mixed up. Perhaps the young lady will explain, Pancho. Sure. You had my brother put in jail. Your brother? Yes, Frank. I'm Pat Tracy. Holy smokers, she's cushioned the sister to the man we just put in the jail. You're very bright. And you're gonna get him out. Why should we do that? I didn't say we, I said you. And just to make sure you don't try any tricks, I'm holding your chubby friend here as hostage. Chubby horses is all bad words, Cisco. Be quiet, Pancho. Suppose I refuse. You wouldn't want him to meet with a slightly fatal accident, would you? What'd that mean? You win. But I'll need my gun. Terry, put his gun back in the holster. <laughs> My brother will need a horse, Cisco. Take Chubby's with you. And don't get any bright ideas. One false move and Chubby's a dead duck. Duck? I ain't got no feathers. Be quiet, Pancho. And watch yourself. Senita, please. By now, what brings you back so soon? A little business, Sheriff. Well, anyway, I'm glad you're here. This monkey's been spouting off at the mouth how he'll be out of here in no time at all. And I will, Sheriff. Real soon. You hear that, Cisco? He talks to those gang who try to break him out. Not his gang, Sheriff. Me. I've come to release him. You release him? Turn it out. Now, look, Cisco, if this is your idea of a joke. No joke at all, Sheriff. Get the keys and unlock that cell door. I don't get this, Cisco. You risked your neck to put him in jail, and now you want to turn him loose. It's not what I want, it's what I must do. I told you I wouldn't be in here very long, Sheriff. Thanks for coming to my rescue, pal. Your pal, eh? Now I'm beginning to get it. The whole thing was a frame to collect the reward money. And to think I refuse to believe those rumors about you. Open that cell door and do it quick. I'll see how you like it in there. You'll never get away with this. I'll hunt you down if it's the last thing I do. I don't have time to explain now. Come on, move. I could use that gun, Cisco. Yes, but you're not going to. Get going. They're coming, Pat. Good. You boys got it straight? Sure. Give Lou a chance to get in the clear and then start blasting. Right. What about Chubby? We'll take care of him later. Give me his gun. This is far enough. Tracy! Get in front of me. You'll first have to release my friend, miss. Yes, of course. That would be too smart. Ah, there's plenty of time. All right, come on out, Chubby. I ain't Chubby, I'm Pancho. Hey, Cisco! <laughs> Senorita, just a minute, Cisco. My gun. I don't think Cisco will take me back without my gun. Gracias. 
Pancho, get on your horse and give them cover. Pancho. We'll wait here until they pass us. Then we'll do a little chasing ourselves. And we'll teach them not to call me Chobbies. Oh. Hey, just in time, Sheriff. Oh, I see. Drop your guns, quick. You were out chasing Tracy, I suppose, huh? Well, you ain't gonna trick me with any of your lies. But I never lied to you. Forget it. I'm taking you into jail. Hey, but, Sheriff, we didn't get anything. Shut up. Pick up their guns, Tony. All right, you two, on your way.
Don't think I'm stupid, sis. Stole that in your bag. Have any trouble? Nothing to speak of. Sheriff and his men were after. We lost them. Bring up the rig, Joe. We're getting out of here. I'll give you a hand. Oh, hello, Mr. Parker. Hello. Sure too bad about your cashier. Get up. But, but, Mr. Parker. Get up. I'm sure sorry to have to do this to you, Lou. But your boss is so stubborn, he won't listen to reason. You're going to exchange places with Cisco and Poncho. But, but, Mr. Parker, you can't do this. It ain't legal. It, it, it's against the law. Pick up it, the keys and move. I... Hello, Poncho. Where are we going? Never mind. I'll get the gun. Get in there and keep your mouth shut. Want me to ride with you? No, thank you. We'll take care of this ourselves. Come on, Pancho. Good luck! and make it quick. Get their guns, Pancho. With too much pleasure. How did you break jail? Never mind about that. You just listen to me. Yeah, take you two years and listen. You know, you're a nice fellow, Sheriff, but you got a head like a little pig. Why are you ornery low down? Sheriff, patrol yourself, patrol yourself. We tried to tell you where Tracy has his hideout, but you wouldn't believe us. Well, Pancho and I are going after him. You and your men are welcome to come with us. Or we'll leave you here, but make up your mind and make it quick. How do I know you won't lead us into a trap? Cisco, how can a man be so silly? Why are we going to lead you into a trap when we can kill you now? Well, you've got me there, guess I have been pig-headed. All right, Pancho. Give them back their guns. Thank <laughs> you. 
want you. You may hit the girl. This episode of Cisco and Poncho, and I hope you'll come by and see us at Toy Gun Town. And also, I hope you'll spend some more time with us here on westernsontheweb.com. I'm Bob Terry. Have a great day, and we hope to see you again on down the trail. <laughs>